¿Qué es mi gente? Today we're going to be playing Mountain Blade 2 Battle Lord and I will be going over a quick review on how to mod the game and create your own custom troops and this is a very simple process in which we will be basically editing a text file adding different uh, IDs that we're going to be pulling out from the game so we can uh, create our own units within the game so what we will need, first of all, we will need a program which is called Visual Basic. It's the one that you can see on the background. And there, uh, it's you will be able to see all the information of the game in a text file. And then we will be able to edit uh, to our likings. And you can see I have them. Let me, let me just lower the game. And we can have here all the information. So this the game files with for the game that we need are within your Mountain Blade folder. So the location for the items, first of all, is located wherever you install your Steam, then you will go to Steam Commons, then to the game files, Mountain Blade Panel Lord, then you will go into modules, you will go into sandbox core. And within Sandbox Core, there is a file called SP Items. Within SP Items, there is a separate text file for all the equipment slots, for the items, the weapons, the shoulders, armor, etc. We want to open those files using Visual Basic, and we will be able to see these files right here, the ones we have on the right. Right now, we're seeing the body armors. And this huge text file has all the game information for uh, the body armors. And the same for the weapons, shoulder, etc. Now, for creating a custom troop, we will be using the mod from Nexus Mod called Adonis Troop Changer. Now, that mod will allow you to create units and add them to the game without having to change cultural files or change the uh, game's native basic troops and this will help you so that your custom troops are very compatible with other things so for example right now i have my custom troops along with the calradia awaken mod and i can use both of them without causing any crash thanks to adonis troop changer now, additionally, you what you would like to do is download Adonis, the optional file, which is I think is called Shail Nadra. And when you download both, both the Troop Changer and the optional file, you will have a Troop Tree created by the mod author that is directly compatible with the Troop Changer. And all you need to do is then open the troop tree, the optional file, and edit right there. So once we have both files, both mods, what we're going to be looking for is within our game folder, we're going to go again to the modules, then we will search uh, AC Shail Nadra. We open that folder. Within that folder, you will find a file called at underscore troops and that one will be the one that we will be working on that will be the file that we will change and save and will allow us to edit our troops within the game so let's go ahead and uh, take a look at this document on visual basic what we're gonna be doing is taking information from the game file searching for the IDs of the items and add them to the list. Now, when we're creating something within the game, first we will open here with this bracket NPC character. And this bracket is will include the whole troop tree. It will include everything all the way to the end. And that first bracket is closed at the very end. Now, besides that, for each individual troop, we will be opening again a bracket of NPC character that will include all of the information for 
that individual troop and then we will close it at the end of that individual troop on here on slash npc character now for troop trees we have different information that we need first the id is the id of the unit that the game reference this is very important because it will reference on our file on different points and also if we want to add the units to our game using the sheet menu then we will be using this id troop id then we have the default group next to that the default group it's the group that unit is assigned to when we're giving orders on the battlefield so since we have it on infantry this unit will be by default assigned to control group number one control group number two is called ranged then we have cavalry then we have horse archers and I'm not sure how the rest are called within the, the game now next to that we have level this is the, this determines the troop tier so our recruit is level 6 a tier 2 is level 11 a tier 3 level 21 tier 4 level 26 tier 5 it's level 31 and then a tier 6 I think I have one here I'm sorry a tier 5 is 26 yeah and a tier 6 is 31 and then a tier 7 will be level 40 so the level will be the tier of the troop next to that we have here is a code for a template and this is for how the characters look the name is what we're actually will be seeing on the game so something for example a uh, Batanian mounted skirmisher it's the, that's the name that is set here or if we want to call it um, Sturgeon horse raider that is set here now the name is what we will be seeing but the ID is what the game uses to reference the unit so next to that the occupation if it's a soldier uh, if it's a basic troop and the culture next we have the face we open here face we put the template I am using a template which is copied from the Storgian basic unit 3 but you can use a custom face and add it to the game just like you copy and paste the code from the character editor you can paste it here and you can give your troops a specific look now we will be closing then this uh, face part right here is very important in coding uh, that when you open something you always close it whenever you're done with it so there it will reference properly next we have the skills we open a bracket for the skills then we have this, the individual skill ID athletics value and the amount and again for each individual a skill and here on the value we can change it and that will change the value of that skill on the troop so we we'll close that and next we have the equipment the equipment set so each slot each uh, line is for individual slot for the weapons it start on equipment slot item zero that will be the first one then you will have item one two and three so those that will reference the four weapon slots that the characters have item zero one two and three then we have an equipment slot for the body the gloves the legs we also have one for the cape which is uh, and that's it that is the armor we also have we can reference let me pull out one that is uh, a cavalry hmm, where where is it oh here it is so for cavalry you will have an equipment slot 
called horse and equipment slot horse harness. This is to add a horse and a horse armor to our uh, troops. So we will close then that uh, bracket of equipment set. The next and last bracket that we need to open is the upgrade targets. And this will tell if our troop has an upgrade path, what will be the next uh, unit that it can be upgraded to. Since this is the recruit, we're giving him two different paths, one for the melee and one for the range. In this case, I gave all an, an ID that will reflect the, uh, what is their role, so it's easier for me, but you can change this to whatever you want, but just remember that this, what your reference here, is the NPC character ID that we set here first. So if we reference that the upgrade path will be for Nordic Melee 2, that NPC character is right here, we reference this ID, Nordic Melee 2. Regardless of the name that I give them, what we are referencing is the ID. So we will close that when we're done, the upgrade targets, and we will close the NPC character bracket that we started here and that will close our troop and this will be one individual troop. So for the workflow what you want to do is have the file that you're working on open on one side. On the other side you want to have the game files open. Here I have all of the items uh, file open, weapons, shoulders, shields, legs, etc. There is a different file for each equipment slot. And then we're going to be searching with Ctrl F within the file. Whatever we want to give to our, to our guys, we're going to search for that item ID and copy those IDs and paste it within our troop file. So besides that, we will also it's also useful to have the game open and that way we can quickly search uh, within the game for the items that we want to use. It's very helpful to activate the sheet menu and that way when you open the inventory it will give you all the items available and you can quickly search what you want to give your guys. So in this case I already have a setup that I want to give my uh, recruits. This is how I would like them to look. So they already, if we see the files on the Visual Basic, we see that we already have the weapon that I want, the Sioux. I also gave my recruits throwing stones because it just makes a lot of sense for me that they will be able to bring bags of stones that they uh, picked up. To throw in the in the in the fight and it's actually very useful as well uh, but the armor is different so we're gonna go ahead and see the name of these individual items and search for them within the files so we can copy and paste them so let's take a look western hood first of all we're gonna go into shoulder we're gonna go to uh, control F to search and then western hood and we found the item, but we don't want the name. What we want is the ID. So we're gonna pick the item ID, copy and paste it. And now on my recruit, I do not have equipment slot cape, but I can take it from the next tier, which do have it, copy and paste it here and just change the item ID. And I'm gonna change the format just so it will look better, but this doesn't really make any uh, any difference. So we gave the guys the hood that we previously searched and wanted. So let's keep going with the rest of the equipment. And then again we copy the ID, paste it on the equipment slot that it is for, and there we go. Now we're gonna be searching in the arm armor file. Copy the ID and paste it. 
Now we're going to be searching in the leg armor file. Let's see the name that we're searching. Okay. Wrap leather boots. Copy and paste it. And there we go. We already gave the armor to the character that we want. Now, just so we can take a quick look. Right now, my recruit has a northern leather over heavy cloth. It has a different hand armor and a different shoes. So let's go ahead and close the game. We're going to save the changes on our add troops, which is our modded troop. And then we're going to go ahead and relaunch the game. Now, I am using the Vortex Mod Manager. And it's very important to make sure that we're using the proper load or order. In this case, we just need the Adonis Troop Changer to load first. And then the Ad Adonis Troop uh, Cheyenne Nadrat optional file, which is the one we are editing. Now, if your units use an item that is added by another mod, then you need to make sure that the item mod is loaded first before your units. Otherwise, if your the item mod loads after, when the troop are loaded, it will search for an item that has not been loaded yet and therefore does not exist, and so it will cause a crash in the game. So let's go ahead, go back to that save file and let me just pull it out to full size here and now that we have our game loaded we can open the units go to our recruit and voila now he has a different item set it has the item that we have given to them and it has the upgrade path that we have selected for them. And that's how you basically uh, mod the game and create your custom troops. Remember that you will need Visual Basic and in this case uh, I am using Adonis Troop Changer which is a mod created uh, with the idea to be supported to be a support or a use for other people to create their own units. So by using that mod, we are cutting down on a lot of work. So I will leave this like a standalone video so it can be helpful for anyone that would like to learn about modding in general. Uh, this is, I have very limited knowledge on this, but I uh, already have some experience working with uh, creating these units and I wanted to share this with anyone that would like to know if you like what you saw or you found this useful leave me a comment i will definitely love some feedback and if you have any question i will be glad to help you as well all right see you